We asked her to turn the tap on, we did. Hi guys, thanks for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I'm very excited to share with you some footage today from a paranormal investigation I did at one of the most haunted pubs in the whole of England, the Golden Fleece Inn of York. This is a very notorious and supposedly very haunted location that I've been really excited to share on my channel for a long time. I have put off making this video though because it's actually been really hard to edit and the reason being was I captured a lot of strange things on my camera and I had a lot of really weird interference that caused me to lose a lot of my footage. I'll go over that in a little more detail in just a sec and show you some clips but first I want to share some of the history and ghost stories of the Golden Fleece Inn just so that you have a better understanding and some background information on this location before we get started. The Golden Fleece Inn exists in York, England and is often thought to be one of its most haunted places. The building has been around for quite some time. It was first sighted in records back in 1503, though it was later rebuilt in the 19th century. Today, the building continues to function as an inn and popular pub and even embraces its ghostly history. One of the most commonly cited apparitions at the Golden Fleece Inn is thought to be Lady Alice Peckett. She was married to the Mayor of York and actually lived in the building directly next door to the Golden Fleece. Since her death, many patrons of the Golden Fleece Inn started reporting to cite a female apparition all throughout the pub. Many people to this day believe that to be Alice. Another ghost thought to haunt the Golden Fleece Inn is that of a man who has been nicknamed One-Eyed Jack. This ghost hangs around the downstairs bar area, which is located at the back of the pub. He is always sighted in this area wearing red boots, a red jacket from the 16th century, and he always has a pistol on him. The final and most well-known ghost story of the Golden Fleece Inn centers on a Canadian airman from World War II. The story goes that this airman was staying in the room at the very top of the inn, fell from its window to the street below, breaking his neck and dying in the process. It is still a little bit of a mystery whether his death was murder, accidental or suicide, though his ghost has certainly been rumoured to haunt that upper room. Many people staying here for the night have reported to encounter his ghost. So there are the main ghost stories about the Golden Fleece Inn, though many believe that there are much more spirits haunting this pub. So I'm sure you guys can kind of understand why I was so excited to investigate, hang out at, and share my experience at the Golden Fleece Inn. But unfortunately, a lot of the footage that I got was broken or corrupt. Upon reviewing it, I found that a lot of it was missing audio completely or missing segments of audio, which is very strange. A lot more of my footage also had these weird glitches throughout that I can't explain and I'm not sure why they are there. Whilst I never add effects into the paranormal investigation segments of my videos, some of you may have noticed that I do add in effects, specifically glitch effects, when I'm telling ghost stories. I do this as I think that it adds to the viewer experience a bit and makes my videos just a little bit extra creepy. This video though, I'm adding no effects. I'll now show you a series of glitches that my camera recorded at the Golden Fleece Inn. I'm not claiming this to be paranormal, though I know some people believe that spirits can affect electronic devices. So this thing says here, the skull, Elizabeth Johnson executed York 1800.
guys, currently inside one of the most haunted places in York, that is the Golden Fleece Inn. I do think it is strange that my camera acted this way. I have seen it pick up glitched images before, yet it is very rare. So to see it pick up so many glitches in one filming session is strange to me. I'm also using the same camera, memory card, computer and editing software that I have always used since I started creating videos and I haven't seen my camera act this way before this video or since. What do you all think? Have you ever recorded something this strange on your camera before? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I am not an expert on photography, videography or electronics. I have no idea why my camera did this. Again, I'm not claiming it to be paranormal, just extremely odd. I did manage to save one interesting clip from my paranormal investigation at the Haunted Golden Fleece Inn. This was recorded in the upstairs room, which is supposedly haunted by the Canadian Airman and thought by many to be the most haunted room in the Golden Fleece Inn. Oh, hello. There we go. Hi, yeah. spirit. Would you like to communicate with us? If you would, can you move the glass to our chair? Here I am filming a group of people conducting a Ouija board session. I noticed a noise off to my left in an empty room and went to investigate. On my way to that room, I noticed that the shower was dripping quite heavily. Come forward. We'd just like to ask you a few harmless questions. Keep you company for a short time. You need to keep your finger on Jack. Good, build all that energy, use our energy. Yeah. Do we have a, a lady spirit in here? If so, can you move the glass towards Jack? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah, I Oh, the water's on in the bathroom. Is it? The it's dripping. Is it? Is there somebody in here? Something's dripping. The shower. <laughs> the shower's on? We asked it to turn the tap on. We did. That might have been what? Is it stopping now? Did you ask it to turn the tap on yeah. with the group before? Yeah. Yeah. Supposedly, the group of people that were in that room just before us were asking the spirits to turn on the tap. Do you think that's coincidental or possibly something paranormal? Well, that's it, guys. Really sorry that I don't have more to share with you from this investigation. I honestly have no idea what happened to my camera that night. If you have any theories or you can debunk this, please share them with me. I would love to know if you can debunk this because I honestly have no idea what happened. If you're interested in learning more about other haunted places in York, I also have a separate video which tells the city's ghost stories, which I'm going to link below for you. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That way I can keep taking you to these spooky locations. If you want to read any more about haunted places, head to amyscript.com. And until next time, stay spooky.